we're excited about uh, uh, tipping off uh, tomorrow night. Um, obviously, we have a doubleheader with the uh, women's volleyball team. They're going to be playing 18th ranked Kentucky. So if we could uh, try to get our Auburn fans and family to, to get out of work a little early and to head on over there, uh, that'd be great. It should be a great match. Our, our ladies are having a really good season. So um, uh, that's the reason for the late tip. And uh, we're glad that we're able to do double headers with the women's volleyball team. And then next week, we open up on 11th, and we have a double header with the women's basketball team. Um, you know, every every day I learn something about my team. Um, and uh, you know, I, I go home from practice about half the time, um, knowing how much we have to learn. And I go home about half the time and thinking about how much we how far we've come so far in, in a short period of time. And it's just, there's so much you have to get a team ready for. Um, we went up to Chattanooga last weekend for a private scrimmage. And um, it's always, it's okay to make note of the fact that we have a scrimmage, we just, we just don't talk about the results. Um, but I was pleased with our effort and our energy. And, um, but in preparing for Chattanooga and Matt McCall and a former Billy Donovan coach, um, you got to go through one set of systems. And now to prepare for Danny Young and Montevallo, um, a team that a coach has been in the NCAA tournament 10 out of the last 12 years. Um, you know, they're picked to finish third in their league. They've got seven or eight seniors, or, or you know, they're, they're, they're going to be older. Most Division II teams are. But they do different things than Chattanooga did. And so the good thing is, is we have that experience. Now we're going to get this experience, and then It'll be the third game for our kids when we open, against, open up against North Florida. Now when North Florida comes in, you know, they'll come in having played in the NCAA tournament two years ago, having played in the NIT last year, they lost to Florida in the NIT last year, having been to postseason places that we've not been in a long time, and bring three or four guys back that played on that team. So if you say they played 30 games as a freshman and as a sophomore and as a junior, It'll be their 91st game together, and it'll be our third game together. And that's the, that's the, that's the, the challenge, and that, that's the unknown. Um, so I'm anxious to see what we have as we continue to get exposed by other systems and other coaches. And the last thing is uh, you cannot take a Division II opponent lightly. Um, when I was at Tennessee my last year, we started the year 7-0, including wins over Villanova, and the NIT preseason NIT championship, and we won at Pittsburgh when they were third in the country. Well, the game before we went on that run, we lost to Indianapolis. And you remember last year, Indianapolis took us to overtime. So we've had uh, we've had challenges, and I'm, I hope we get a real good challenge tomorrow because we need to get exposed. Bruce, what are some of the specific things you'd like to see in your guys Friday night? I'd like to see them continuing to play together defensively and offensively. Uh, I thought that was one really good theme from our scrimmage uh, last week. Is I thought we really, we really worked together um, to guard, and um, and we worked pretty well offensively to try to find the open man and take good shots and execute. Um, but on the road in a close scrimmage with nobody there is different than seven thousand in in the building and your families and they keep it score and. Um, will we continue to, to, to not allow the noise and the distractions to change the way we play? Uh, 